the city surrendered to the invading Moors about 714 AD, and the Cathedral of St. Vincent was turned into a mosque. The Castilian nobleman Rodrigo Diaz de Vivar, known as El Cid, in command of a combined Christian and Moorish army, besieged the city beginning in 1092. After the siege ended in May 1094, he ruled the city and its surrounding territory as his own fiefdom for five years from June 15, 1094 to July 1099. The city remained in the hands of Christian troops until 1102, when the Almoravids retook the city and restored the Muslim religion. Alfonso VI of Leon and Castile drove them from the city, but was unable to hold it. Many Jews lived in Valencia during early Muslim rule, including the accomplished Jewish poet Solomon ibn Gabirol, who spent his last years in the city. When the city fell to James I of Aragon, the Jewish population of the city constituted about 7% of the population. In 1238, King James I of Aragon, with an army composed of Aragonese, Catalans, Navarres and Crusaders from the Order of Calatrava, laid siege to Valencia and on 28 September obtained a surrender. 50,000 Moors were forced to leave. The city endured serious troubles in the mid-14th century, including the decimation of the population by the Black Death of 1348 and subsequent years of epidemics, as well as a series of wars and riots that followed. The 15th century was a time of economic expansion, known as the Valencian Golden Age, during which culture and then the arts flourished. Concurrent population growth made Valencia the most populous city in the crown of Aragon. Valencia rose to become one of the most influential cities on the Mediterranean in the 15th and 16th centuries. However, following the European discovery of the Americas, the Valencians just like the Catalans, Aragonese, and Majorcans, were unable to profit from participation in New World commerce due to their location far from the Atlantic coast. With this loss of trade, Valencia eventually suffered an economic crisis. The crisis deepened during the 17th century with the expulsion in 1609 of the Jews and the Moriscos, descendants of the Muslim population that had converted to Christianity. The Spanish government systematically forced Moriscos to leave the kingdom for Muslim North Africa. The expulsion caused the financial ruin of some of the nobility and the bankruptcy of the Tala de Cambi financial institution in 1613. The 19th century began with Spain embroiled in wars with France, Portugal, and England, but the War of Independence most affected the Valencian territories and the capital city. The mutineers seized the citadel, a supreme junta government took over, and on 26-28 June, Napoleon's Marshal Monsi attacked the city with a column of 9,000 French imperial troops in the First Battle of Valencia. He failed to take the city in two assaults and retreated to Madrid. Marshal Suchet began a long siege of the city in October 1811, and after intense bombardment forced it to surrender on January 8, 1812. The disaster of the Battle of Vitoria on June 21, 1813 obliged Suchet to quit Valencia, and the French troops withdrew in July. Ferdinand VII became king after the victorious end of the Peninsular War, which freed Spain from Napoleonic domination. Ferdinand refused and went to Valencia instead of Madrid. The king abolished the Constitution of 1812 and dissolved the two chambers of the Spanish Parliament on 10 May. During the regency of Maria Cristina, Espartero ruled Spain for two years as its 18th Prime Minister from September 16, 1840 to May 21, 1841. In the early 20th century Valencia was an industrialized city. The inevitable march to civil war and the combat in Madrid resulted in the removal of the capital of the Republic to Valencia. On November 6, 1936, the city became the capital of Republican Spain. The city was heavily bombarded by air and sea, and by the end of the war the city had survived 442 bombardments, leaving 2,831 dead and 847 wounded, although it is estimated that the death toll was higher. On March 30, 1939, Valencia surrendered and the nationalist troops entered the city. During Franco's regime speaking or teaching Valencian was prohibited, in a significant reversal it is now compulsory for every schoolchild in Valencia. The economy began to recover in the early 1960s, and the city experienced explosive population growth through immigration spurred by the jobs created with the implementation of major urban projects and infrastructure improvements. With the advent of democracy in Spain, the ancient kingdom of Valencia was established as a new autonomous entity, the Valencian community, the Statute of Autonomy of 1982 designating Valencia as its capital. Valencia has since then experienced a surge in its cultural development, exemplified by exhibitions and performances at such iconic institutions as the Palau de la Musica, the Palacio de Congresos, the Metro, the City of Arts and Sciences, the Valencian Museum of Enlightenment and Modernity, and the Institute of Modern Art. The various productions of Santiago Calatrava, a renowned structural engineer, 
architect, and sculptor and of the architect Felix Candela have contributed to Valencia's international reputation. These public works and the ongoing rehabilitation of the old city have helped improve the city's livability and tourism is continually increasing. Valencia was selected in 2003 to host the historic America's Cup yacht race, the first European city ever to do so. The America's Cup matches took place from April to July 2007. On July 3, 2007, Alinki defeated Team New Zealand to retain the America's Cup. 22 days later, on July 25, 2007, the leaders of the Alinki Syndicate, holder of the America's Cup, officially announced that Valencia would be the host city for the 33rd America's Cup, held in June 2009.